I too was being crushed by the Earth Riders. I could feel my, myself losing oxygen and recall thinking to myself, this is how I'm going to die, defending this entrance. It has been a struggle, a lot of setbacks. Uh, my recovery with physical therapy uh, it has been challenging. But uh, overall, um, it has improved uh, in terms of uh, mentally and physically. Uh, I still have uh, certain, certain things that I'm going to be, they're going to be with me for the rest of my life now. Uh, there's no more improvement in, on my shoulder. Uh, so I have to make the most out of it in terms of with my new disability or capacity that I, limitations that I have. I've noticed at the January 6th meetings that they've held this year, some of the business meetings, that you have been there, you know, in plain clothes. Why has it been important for you to attend these meetings and watch what this committee is doing? It's part of my coping mechanism. Uh, I'm still uh, processing some of these things that happen to me. And every time I uh, appear to some of these things, I learn something new that I didn't learn, uh, or that I didn't know back then. Um, one other thing, aspect of it is I want accountability. I'm, I'm, it's personal to me. I, I risk my life for them, and I want a full accountability. If that means uh, making my, myself present on, in the room so they could see me, uh, that's, that's a way for me to, to hold them accountable and let them know that, hey, do your job because I'm still looking and I'm still hurt. A year and a half after, I'm still struggling with some of my injuries uh, because of that hor horrific day. Before January 6th, all the, one of the other things that I used to do was be here in the Capitol and patrol, talk to people, uh, and, and I don't even have my weapon no more because of that injury uh, that I sustained uh, for liability purposes. Uh, you know, now what I'm doing is just administrative stuff. You know, not complaining, but that's not what I signed up for. That's not what I want to do. Uh, and, and people need to realize how close we were to losing our democracy that day. The committee is working on a bit of an artificial deadline where they're trying to get their work wrapped up before the November midterm elections. And because there is thought that the committee would be dissolved if Republicans take the majority in the House. Does that concern you at all that they may not get to everything since they are having to move at a faster pace? Well, they ain't gonna, they're not going to get everything, uh, but at least they could uh, make public what they're finding. I think the American people will learn something from it, not just uh, who planned it and orchestrated it, but to prevent those same people from coming back into a position of power. Uh, because next time, I hope there are, there is a Officer Goodman or Officer Don or Officer Fanon or Officer Gunnell in their way, but it's going to be a lot harder.